So another thing we can do is we can perform some other calculations as well. So um, we've got the judges scores here. So what we're going to do is just going to add all of the judges scores into our query. Oh, I don't want judge four twice. I only want him once or her once. So let's click on run. So we've got skate UID one. Okay. And then we've got um, all of the judges scores for skater IDs uh, for this for this for their um, actual skates okay so obviously we could put move in there as well if we wanted so we could see um, what move they were doing as well if we were going to um, start building this query to, to be proper now what we might want to do is we want to might find out what the actual score of um, you know what, what was their actual score so what we can do is we can create and now we see what we did we did this before in the last video we can create total score okay what we'll do, I'm just going to make this so if we right click on that and go zoom what that'll do that'll put that into a bigger window so we can see what we're actually doing and you can actually change your font as well so we can say what well, we want to make that really big um, so we can see and we can make that you know as big as we like by stretching that out so what we can say is in square brackets this means what field name so we're going to say judge one it's going to add to judge two going to add to judge three and we're going to add to oh missing brackets i don't know if you notice that when i, when I this i do this when i'm whether i'm programming or whether i'm doing web development i always put in my start and end brackets um, automatically I always do that and then I obviously use my back arrow to go between them that way you don't forget a bracket um, uh, as things as you start nesting brackets together it might get a bit confusing so I always put my start and end brackets in so there we go we'll put my last one in there judge four and then okay that basically what we're doing is we're summing all those up so we've used that function before to sum up um, like um, all of judge one scores but we can't do that in this situation if there is them there might be a way of doing it but I've not come across it yet but this is does exactly the same job okay so now what we're going to do we're going to now get total score so if we run this we're going to say right um, judge one is six judge two is two judge three is three judge four is five so that should give us 16 so we get six eight 11 16 okay so we're adding those up okay obviously not worrying about the move id so the judge one so that is the score so we've totaled them up and done a calculation um in our query and that goes all the way down here so the bottom one there is six and three is nine add the the one is 10 plus three is 13 so we know that that is working correctly so we can do other things as well okay so we could um take um, so we could see let's say average okay um, hello mate that no, no I'm not I was just no, sorry but I had a had a someone come into my room but okay so we could do an average as well so um, we can take exactly what we did um, in there so um, oh, I'm just gonna stop that I'm just gonna I'm gonna steal what I did there so let's just zoom that and say what well, I'm gonna I'm gonna nick the entire thing to be honest I'm going to nick all of that. Control C that. I'm going to now zoom this one, and then I'm going to put all of those because we to, to create an average. Okay, what we would do if we create an average, not an average, what are those? An average score. We will add up all of our judge scores, and to create the average, we then divide it by the amount that we have. So we divide it by four so we're going to add all those up now notice I've put them in brackets because if I did it like this um, if you can remember back to your good old days of GCSE maths where you have bod mass brackets and then it will do your um, multiplications and your divisions so the first thing it will do is it will um, divide judge four by four and then it will add those on but what we want it to do first is we want to make sure that these are all calculated before we do the divide by four to get that average okay so okay that and then you can see here perfectly we know that 16 divided by four is four and so that has now given us our average
So you can perform all sorts of calculations there. That might be creating a, um, you might need to create a VAT uh, on sales. So you've got some sales figures and you need to create some uh, VAT numbers so you can you know, find out what the 20% of a particular number is and then obviously display that and then total it up so you can get the price with VAT okay so that would be something that you wouldn't need to then um, f keep that in the database you could calculate that automatically okay so um, yeah another thing you might want to do as well they might ask you to um, create um, you know what would happen if we were to sell this um, item at 10% um, discount what would the discount be on each item? What would be the um, the difference, you know, in sales? That sort of thing. So that's the type of thing that you might get asked to do. Okay. So that is performing calculations. We're going to do one more thing, um, which is going to be parameter values, which we'll look at um, in the next video. Sorry, this one was a little bit disjointed, um, but hey, I can't. I can't. I should have put a sign on my door saying uh, recording video. But anyways, I'll see you in the next video.